Solubility is the amount of solute in solution at a given temperature. In this demonstration, the relationship between solubility and temperature is explored. Potassium iodide and lead 2 nitrate solutions are mixed in an Erlenmeyer flask. A yellow solid precipitates out of solution. The lead 2 iodide precipitate has low solubility in water at room temperature. With time, the precipitate settles. A dynamic equilibrium is established between the dissolved solute and the precipitate. The investigation to determine the effect of temperature on solubility begins by decanting and washing the lead 2 iodide precipitate. Deionized water is then added to the pure solid lead 2 iodide. The mixture is heated. Several minutes after the stirring has stopped, the excess solute settles to the bottom of the flask. The hot saturated solution of lead 2 iodide is maintained at a temperature near 100 degrees Celsius. The individual mass of six empty test tubes is determined. The test tubes are placed in a hot water bath. Using a warmed and rinsed pipette, exactly 20 milliliters of the hot saturated solution are transferred into each of six test tubes. The assumption is that each test tube contains an equal amount of dissolved solute. One sample of the hot saturated solution is placed in a boiling water bath that remains at 97 degrees Celsius, and three are placed in constant temperature water baths at 70 degrees Celsius, 50 degrees Celsius, and 25 degrees Celsius respectively. Another sample is placed in an ice water bath at zero degrees Celsius. A sixth sample is allowed to slowly change temperature to room temperature. In the test tubes where cooling takes place, yellow crystals of lead 2 iodide form and settle to the bottom. The test tubes remain undisturbed for one hour. This ensures that equilibrium is established for each temperature chosen and that the solution above the crystals is saturated. Observing the sample in the boiling water bath reveals that very little, if any solute, has come out of solution. However, in the ice water bath, a substantial amount of lead 2 iodide crystallized out of solution. It appears that the solubility of lead 2 iodide is less at lower temperatures. To determine the amount of solute that has crystallized out of solution, the test tubes are quickly removed from their respective water baths. Immediately decanted, and the residue is dried. The mass of each test tube and dried solid is weighed. The mass of the test tube and residue, subtract the mass of the empty test tube, equals the mass of the lead 2 iodide residue. The mass of the dried lead 2 iodide is determined for each temperature. The table indicates that with decreasing temperature, the mass of solute that crystallizes out of solution increases. Based on the assumption that each test tube started with equal amounts of solute, and having just determined that with decreasing temperature, 
the mass of solute that crystallizes out of solution increases. It is reasonable to state that for lead 2 iodide, as temperature decreases, solubility decreases. Now let us revisit the solution that was not placed in a water bath and as a result cooled slowly to room temperature. Because equilibrium between dissolved solute and solid establish more slowly, the crystals of lead 2 iodide are larger. However, the data for the amount of dried residue fits sequentially into the data table. This helps to support the generalization that for lead 2 iodide, as temperature decreases, solubility decreases. It further suggests that solubility is not dependent on the rate of cooling, but rather on the final temperature.